When we first get back to the room after I called it off, when everybody's trying to figure out what's going on, we all get back to my room. I break down crying, dog. Honest to God truth. I can't lie. Because I was hurt. Because I was ready to, I wanted to marry her, bro. This is the honest to God truth. I break down crying, dog, for about a good 20, 30 minutes. I break, I'm talking about I'm hard down crying, dog. I'm hard down crying because I'm hurt, dog. Like, I'm really hurt. I didn't think a woman would take me to this point over a piece of paper and not marry me, especially after we got a child and we trying to build some shit. Like, I was honestly hurt. You know what I'm saying? I was hurt. I was in a hard down crying, dog. And this is why I love, this is why I fell in love with Mike, baby mama. And this is why I always treat her like my own mama. I'm sitting there crying. May the cheap slain fathers ascend down from the gates of heaven and enchant us, enlighten us with the inspiration, the motivation. My brothers, open your cheap slain handbooks to chapter 10 titled Marriage for Men. Verse 333. If she does not sign the prenup papers right away, she is looking for the biggest pay day. And you shall relinquish her back to the highway. Oh! <laughs> She belongs to the streets. Verse 22. Not getting married in your 20s and 30s is like missing out on buying the last ticket to the Titanic. And we all know what happened to the Titanic. It's at the bottom of the ocean somewhere. Look at Jack. He's a scholar young fella. He went from the chosen one My nigga. to the frozen one. <laughs> so the video I'm about to show you guys today is a perfect example on how an alpha deals with a tough situation with a woman. Because Stephen Jackson, an NBA player, this is a perfect example of frame in an intergender relationship. Not once did he move into her frame and play by her set of rules. He made the rules for her. He said, if you do not sign this prenup, we are not getting married and he's willing to walk away. Not once did he enter her frame and play by her set of rules. That is the most important aspect of intergender relationships. No matter how much he loved her, he had kids with her. He meant what he say and he's gonna do what he say. Because a lot of guys, they say one thing, but they're not a man of their word. And fellas, and if you guys want to get married, just make sure she signs that prenup or you're gonna walk yourself into a slaughterhouse. And fellas, let me cap it off by saying this. When somebody says, why aren't you married? You're such a great guy. That is a question that answers itself. Please don't wait me, that's the only time I see you. See you. I can't fall in love, you my favorite senorita. She the I proposed to her. I can't remember why I proposed to her. None of that matters anyway, though. But I proposed to her, and during that time, you know, we plan to get married in Houston. We plan to get married in Houston, right? So, newsflash for all 530 y'all on here. In order for a prenup, to get drawn up, the 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 two people, the man and the, the husband and the wife, have to agree on what the and what the, on what the prenup says in order for the prenup to come out valid, and you both sign it. Let me say that again. In order for a prenup to get drawn up, both sides have to agree. The 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 husband and the wife, the bride and the groom, they both have to agree on the prenup before it's written up before it before it can even get written up you have to agree on it right so i take care of a lot of people i'm never letting one woman control of all the hard work i've done in my life none of these motherfuckers was in the gym with me right so if i, I always tell myself whoever i'm married to they signing the prenup off top i'm not it's not even a second guess so man i had to talk about it so it's we get the prenup back 
at least three, four months before the wedding, right? About four months, maybe at least at least three to four months before the wedding. This is all true, y'all. So, four months, three, four months before the wedding, we get the P and I give it to her. Granted, when I give it to her, she shouldn't be surprised by it because me and her sat down and agreed up on the prenup, right? Me and her agreed up on the prenup. We agreed. Listen to me, y'all. We agreed on the prenup. Bam. So we agree on it. A month passed, like two months photo away, and I'm like, yo, look. We need to get that prenup signed so we can go ahead and, you know, send it in and get it, get it, you know, get all that taken care of. So when we get down there to Houston, we ain't got to worry about it. I tell her that like two or three times. It's a month. Well, that was two months before the wedding. It's a month before the wedding. Look, bro. I just, we, this is, this is something we agreed on. We shouldn't be, I shouldn't have to keep coming and tell you to sign this prenup, right? What's up, Bird? I shouldn't have to, Bird, you know about this. I shouldn't have to tell you to sign this prenup, right? This is what I'm telling her. This, for, after the first time I came to it was two months before the wedding. Now it's a month before the wedding. I'm like, man, I've been asking you about this prenup. There's no way I should have to keep coming to you about this prenup knowing we had to agree on this before they even drew it up. So why do I have to keep coming to you about it, about getting this, getting this signed? She's like, I'm going to sign it, I'm going to sign it, I'm going to sign it. I'm going to sign it, I'm going to sign it, I'm going to sign it. I'm like, cool. You can sign it. But look, during that time, we making arrangements for the wedding, right? Because, you know, you still got to plan shit. So, you know, I love her. And I'm going to keep it real with you. I was in love with her. You know what I'm saying? I was in love with her. And we was building a family. So I'm like, okay, cool. I ain't going to make no big deal. I, 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 I went with planning a wedding. I didn't stop. I kept planning a wedding. I told her several times, dog, about the prenup and asking about it. So, bam. So, as we, this, 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 this is one of the twists of the wedding, right? So, as we planned for the wedding, I'm from Texas, right? She from New York. I'm from Texas. I'm from Port Arthur, which is an hour from Houston where we get married, right? I want my pastor to do it. He right there. It'll save us some money. Da, 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 da. She is adamant about this certain pastor doing the thing, right? So I'm like, cool, it's, it's, it's her wedding, I ain't got no problem. Keep in mind, remember this pastor, right? Remember this pastor. This is a pastor, she, she, she was, I'm talking about screaming at me and everything. No, my, he had, this pastor has to do it. This pastor has, I'm like, well, this, we can save money and make more sense. This is my pastor since I was a kid. You don't even know this guy. Some other girl brought this pastor to her attention. Some other girl Brought the pastor name to her attention. She, this ain't this a pastor she's never seen. Don't even know. But she don't want my pastor to do it, right? Cool. Remember that. So I'm like, fine, fine, no problem, no problem. He can do it. Your pastor can do it. I'm cool with. It. I ain't gonna be petty. Cool. I want you to have. This is your day. Everything is yours. I spent about four hundred thousand on the wedding, y'all. About four hundred k, right? It's yours. Whatever you want to do. Hey, pastor don't matter to me. I just want to marry you. I don't even give a damn. Two weeks before the wedding. We go on to Houston a week before the wedding. Now we had two weeks before the wedding. Everything planned. We ready to go. I'm like, look, bro. Why I got to keep asking you about this prenup, bro? It ain't like you don't know what's on it. Like, what motives? This is what I told her. What you up to? What motives you on? I ain't on nothing. I just ain't had time to sign up planning a wedding office. I'm like, man, listen, man, all you gotta do is sign it. You ain't gotta, it ain't like you gotta read it all over again. You know what's in it, da da da. I'm gonna sign it, I'm gonna sign it. Me being a being a person I am, I know it's a wedding and all that shit. I'm like, you know what? I know you probably just frustrated. I'm trying to be, I'm trying to be a, 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 a supportive man at the time. I know you're going through a lot, baby. I know it's stuff, you know what I mean? Just when we get just make sure I get it for the wedding. You know what I'm saying? Da 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 da. <laughs> we go to Houston. We get there, right? We get to Houston. The night I get to Houston, you know, I, 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 she, we, when we get to Houston, we separate. So she go with her friends. I go with my guys. You know, I'm at home. This is my hometown. So you know, I'm strip clubbing all kind of shit. 
wilding out with the homies. My partner Weezy on here, he was there. Wilding out with the homies and shit, having a good time. So, my homegirl Mimi, mama, Miss Doris, was our nanny at the time, right? We had a nanny at the time. We had a baby. We had a nanny at the time. We had, we had, uh, we had our, my oldest daughter. And my son was, I think my son was on the way. And, uh, so we had a nanny at the time. And, uh, Miss Doris came to my room. I'm like, Miss Doris, real Jay Sams, what's up, my boy? I'm like, Miss Doris, you know, it's wedding in two days. I ain't got no prenup. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm telling you, Miss Doris, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. No, no, baby, don't. You know, you know, I'm all, I'm with you. You know, I'm with you. I know you're right, but don't start having that attitude. It's going to get done. Da, 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 da. Don't worry about it. It's going to get done. It's going to get done. So I'm like, all right, Miss Doris, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to be optimistic. You know what I'm saying? But I'm, you know, I'm having a good time. Da, da, da. I'm like, am I having a, I'm thinking in the back of my mind, listen, man, I ain't getting married without no prenup. Fuck out of here. Not five. You know, that's what I'm thinking the whole time. I'm like, man, I can't believe this motherfucking girl done wait, wait until I spent all this money, got all the way down here, so bam. Miss Doris come to me uh, saying, don't worry about it, it's going to get done. I'm going to go get her to sign it, da-da-da-da, right? So, my nigga, this the day of the wedding. Hold on, let me find my shit back up. Y'all ready for the good part? So, so the day of the wedding, y'all. I got Stephon Barberry. I got Mike Bibby. But I can't remember who who was all in, in the wedding at the time, dog. I had everybody. I know I probably Bun was there. I had a lot of my homeboys. In, I'm talking about all my homeboys, dog. I can't remember who was all in the wedding at the time. But Mike Brown, celebrities, everybody, the her friends, everybody, right? So, we... Wake up that morning. We, I'm getting dressed. I'm getting dressed. You know what I'm saying? We all getting dressed for the wedding. Da, da, da. Everybody getting, you know what I'm saying? All my groomsmen, we in the little groomsmen room. We all get dressed. In the back of my mind, you know what I'm saying? I'm all thinking about this damn prenup, right? That's all I'm thinking about. So my nanny comes in the room. She's like, how you doing, baby? Good morning. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, hey, good morning. Da, 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 da. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, what's up with the prenup? She like, uh. I talked to her. She said she's going to sign it. I'm, a, I'm I'm finna go get it right now. I just wanted to come check with you to see how you doing this morning. Make sure you all right. Make sure you wasn't stressing about it. I'm like, nah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Nah, you say she going you know, you say she gonna sign it? I'm cool with it. Getting dressed, me and my boys drinking, smoking, all that, getting dressed, having a good time, da, 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 whatever we doing for the wedding. So after we get dressed, where we staying at, at the hotel, where we staying at, it's a big ballroom where we was having a wedding, right? So we had to walk. We had to uh, go get on this private elevator. Me and all my, all my groomsmen, we get on the private elevator, and we go to a little back room where from the back room we just walk out into the wedding, right? So when we get to that, when we get to that room, that's when I, once we get in that room, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, okay, hold up. You know what I'm saying? This one not really turn up. You know what I'm saying? I'm like... Man, hold up, hold up, man, hold up, hold up. You know what I'm saying? I, I you know, and then this, this, this one, Steph. This why, this why Steph Marbury and Mike Bibby, my brothers. All right, for life. Steph Bibby, Steph uh, Marbury and Mike Bibby are my real brothers. Like my real brothers. You see what I'm saying? No bullshit. These are my real brothers. So, we in the back. We walk to the back room, and the motherfucking um. The uh, the priest come in, the preacher come in with with his with his uh, other with his assistant, I guess, and then my nanny come back in there with a with a with a, like a with a spook look on her face, like she still like she she pulled me to the side and she like she still ain't signed it. So when I said that, I'm like, well, shit, I ain't getting married then. She was like, ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho, and so look, so the preacher, remember the preacher, y'all, remember the preacher. When I say when I say, oh, I ain't no, nah, I ain't getting married. Steph was like. She ain't signed a prenup. What the fuck? What are we even here for? I'm like, yeah, dog, I ain't doing it. The preacher steps up. He's like, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. The preacher says, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I look at him like, he said, this is what he said. He said, now, 
Now, hold on. Don't, now, I know you love this girl. Don't make a drastic decision. I think you should just let God handle it. I say, huh? I think you should just let God handle it. Me, as a, as a pastor, I don't believe in prenups. Now, I know why she was fighting for you. You don't believe in prenups. Now, it all makes sense. I ain't getting married. Damn what you believe in. I put everything in God's hand. And God is telling me to put the pen in her hand and make her sign this goddamn prenup before I get married. That's what God telling me. So God telling me and you two different things, partner. As that's going on, Steph Marbury grows crazy. Hell no. Nah. No, we ain't doing it. Hell, no, it ain't going on. Steph go crazy. Mike Bibby walks. Are you serious, Steve? Fuck out of here. Everybody, no, 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 no. Bruh, this preacher has the nerves to sit there for about five or ten minutes and try to convince me that God told him that, that he don't believe in prenups, so I shouldn't believe in him. Listen, bro, we ain't in the same tax bracket, first of all. You know what I'm saying? Bam. So now, now y'all see why she wanted that preacher so bad that she didn't even know. Bam. So bam. This dog, God take all my blessings if I'm lying, dog. This is a true story. I, it's too many people that was there to vouch for it. So bam. So listen. I'm going to tell y'all this. So I, I found out this after the wedding. You know what I'm saying? But on the way to the wedding, rest in peace, my grandma, my grandma dead now. But on the way to the wedding, my grandmother, this is before all this, everything I told y'all. My grandmother told my mama, Jude, it ain't going to be no wedding. This is before all this. My grandmother told us to my mama on the way to Houston to the wedding, right? So, bam. I'm telling him, look, bro, hell no, nah, I'm not going to do it. Hell no, nah, I'm not going to do it. By that time, it had, it had got rowdy in the bridesmaids rooms because my sister was in the wedding. You know what I'm saying? Because the wedding, the wedding had supposed to have been started. Bobby Valentino standing up there at the microphone ready to start singing. Ask Bobby Valentino. He was there. Bobby Valentino will tell you this whole story. He was right there. He's standing up there ready to sing, bro. Ready to start singing. So everybody getting ass like the fuck. My mama said my grandmother just sitting there like she already know what's going on. So, uh, it get, it, it get to getting a little ass over there. So my sister ended up coming out of there. And say, I had to get out of there before I whip one of them hoes because they end up talking crazy. Something like that. Not those exact words, but my sister was, was upset with what was said and that's so she had to walk out. So, bam. This is when the, this is, uh, this is when, this is when she showed her true colors, bro. This is when she showed her true colors. So, wedding off. Yes. Wedding's off. We not doing it. Walk back up to the room. Walk back up to upstairs again. When we take, we get an undress and shit. Step, step Marbury's like, bruh. Hold on. First of all, I'm lying. We get back to the room. We get back to the room, right? Y'all know I'm going to always be 1,000 with everybody. All, 1, 000, all, I'm going to tell y'all the honest truth every time. When we first get back to the room, after I called it off, when everybody's trying to figure out what's going on, we all get back to my room. I break down crying, dog. Honest to God truth. I can't lie. Because I was hurt. Because I was ready to, I wanted to marry her, bro. This is the honest to God truth. I break down crying, dog, for about a good 20, 30 minutes. I break, I'm talking about I'm hard down crying, dog. I'm hard down crying because I'm hurt, dog. Like, I'm really hurt. I didn't think a woman would take me to this point over a piece of paper and not marry me, especially after we got a child and we trying to build some shit. Like, I was honestly hurt. You know what I'm saying? I was hurt. I was in a hard down crying, dog. And this is why I love, this is why I, I fell in love with Mike Baby Mama. And this is why I always treat her like my own mama. I'm sitting there crying. I hear Steph in the background talking, man, fuck that shit. We finna turn up. Fuck that shit. You know what I'm saying? Fuck that. Fuck that. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying I'm talking about snot, everything. I'm hard down crying like I lost, like I lost my, I don't know, bro. I'm hard down crying as a grown man. I ain't never cried like that, right? So as I'm crying, Mike Bibby Mom's, Mike Bibby Mom walk up to me, dog, and it's bringing tears to my eyes today. 
She walk up to me. She grab her bare hand. Mike Bibby's mom. Wipe the snot and all this from my face. Everything from my face. And she picked my chin up and she said, you became a man today. Nigga. Nigga, I'm getting chills. She wiped snot from my, my nose and wiped, wiped my eyes, my nigga, and said, and picked my chin up and say, you became a man today. So, with all that going on, this ain't even half, though. So, with all that's going on, after she do that, I come out of it. Stuff like, man, you spend all this money. We finna go party. We finna go party. Da, da, da. Let's go downstairs and still have fun. Look, hey, look, my best friend, Roy D, on here. Look, five Roy D. Am I lying, Roy D? Am I, have I told a lie yet, Roy D? He on here, five Roy D. That's my best, my brother. Same tattoos, everything. Listen, so, as I'm wiping my tears and stuff off, you know what I'm saying? Getting ready to go downstairs and party. Her, uh, uh, somebody from her side comes to my room. This when it get tricky, y'all. Comes to my room and say, hey, Steve, hey, hold on, just calm down. She want to talk to you. She want to talk to you. I say, what she want to talk for? She's like, no, just calm down, man. You, you, you was about to marry her. You know what I'm saying? Just give her, just give her a second. Just out of respect, just, just give, show me a little love and go talk to her, bro. I'm like... Fuck it. Everybody in my room be like, man, fuck that. And my line, Scoop J. Scoop J on here right now, too. My cousin. He already know. Everybody know. This is no lie. So look, her uncle coming like, man, come talk to her. Come talk to her. I'm like, all right, I go talk to her. So look, I get in the room. She's still in her wedding dress and she crying and shit, right? So soon as I walk in the room, she hard down crying. I'll sign it. I'll sign it. Da 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 da. I'll sign it. I'm, I'm, whatever, whatever. I'll sign it. I'll sign it. Listen, I was born at night, but not last night. One thing I know: anytime somebody signs anything where they crying under any type of stress or any real emotional or something like that. That shit can get thrown out. I was already told that before I even signed this prenup. Before I even got to Houston. So I was already on game. I was already on game. So the shit she tried to, to, to get me in that room and see her tears and think I was going to buckle. And just and, and she could sign it while she crying and all that. Then come back and when they, when, I, when they try to stand up, she going to be like, I was emotional at the time. Duh, duh, and they, I, they, it's, it's been thrown out. It's happened to men before. Five was not falling for that. Nah, sweetheart, you chose yo. You chose the decision you wanted to make, and that's you didn't want to sign it. We on this fucking over with. Fuck around, it's over with. I stood on that, man. We go downstairs, distress. That's what it's called. Claim under distress. That thanks, Nikki, my sister Nikki. Claim under distress. Anytime, it's, they can throw that shit straight out. So look, bro, that happens. Remember, I told you stuff was turned up. I'm talking about dog. This nigga stuff on my mother is crazy, dog. Soon as we get to downstairs, he already in the DJ booth. Dog, this shit is hilarious. He in the DJ booth. As people walk in, guess what's the first song they play? I want to know if y'all can guess the first song they play, dog. I'll give y'all a second. Let me put this Roach out of five for another one. Soon as we walk in, Roy D, the first song this nigga play, she gives me money when I'm in need. Yeah, she's a tribe in the need. Oh, yeah, she's a gold digger. Way over time, that's good to me. Oh, dog. She, the Kanye version. She gives me money when I'm in need. I ain't saying she's a gold digger. Dog, I'm telling you, dog. That shit was classic, my nigga. Yo, that shit was classic, dog. End up blowing by 300, 400,000. And this, and this, and this uh, more crazy shit that happens, dog. 
You know, I'm gonna keep it all one thousand with y'all. Nobody never nobody knows this but my, my partners that was around me. Hey Rito, this the sickest, this the sickest part of the whole thing right here. After we delivered had party at the hotel, me and all my partners getting ready to go out that night. Two of her main squeezes that was there with her was with us that night. And I'm gonna keep it funky. I downed one of them. By the name of the cheek slaying fathers, chapter 3, verse 22. If she does not want to make amends, smash her friends. My nigga. My nigga. My nigga. My nigga, my nigga, my nigga, my nigga, my nigga, my nigga, my nigga. You feel me? But that's her friends, though. Yeah, I did it. So did. So did. Yeah, I did it. Fuck out of here. If I'm a trick. 300, 400,000 off for nothing. Yeah, I'm going to get some get back. I'm going to get some get back. Jump down on a clean, too. We pulling off. They I said, where y'all going? Where y'all going? I look at my partner. I'm like, they couldn't wait. They couldn't wait for the opportunity to jump down. They couldn't wait. They had they happy the wedding was off. She don't even know it. These are the girls she with the whole weekend that came with all that. Yeah. Yeah. That's how the game go, though. That's how the game go. True story, dog. True story. Fellas, thoughts, opinions, comment down below what you guys think. So here's what I think. I think he just dodged a bullet. Dodging these Kareem gobblers like the Matrix, baby. Because let me tell you guys this. May I remind you that there is no woman out there more beautiful than your freedom. Did you guys see the intergender relationships aspects? Not once did he move into her frame because a man's supposed to lead. If he moved into her frame, played by her set of rules, she would have fucked him in the ass. He would not sign that prenup and she would have took all of his resources. See, I would rather lose 400K on a wedding than losing all my millions. The things that I worked hard for and she was not even there. Because you never want to play by a woman's set of rules. And fellas, may I remind you this. When you're dating and when you're talking to a woman, just be careful who you are dealing with. No matter how much you love her, no matter how beautiful she is, you got to understand that your mental health, your freedom is more important than that. Because some of these Kareem gobblers, or out there to destroy you. So fellas, that's it for today's video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe,